Hey guys, it's Flubbleeky here again with another redstone tutorial. And this one's going to be following on from our last one uh, we did with pistons. Uh, we're basically just going to neaten this whole situation up so we can't see any of the redstone. We're going to hide it all. Um, so we're going to leave this here, just as a reference, so we know it's there. We're going to we'll just start building up here. So we're going to set up the same situation as before. Going to get our, our four pistons set up. That's too close, actually. That's a bit silly. Get our four pistons set up like this with our, with our door blocks right there. And we're going to get our pre pressure plate set up as well. We're going to just do uh, two on each side, so no matter where you walk, it'll open for you. Now, the only thing we can't actually hide underground is the power for this one. However, you can obviously just build a wall here so that the, uh, the players can't see what's going on behind there. So everything else, like all the other wires that we see up above ground here, going to the pressure plates and the inverter and all that sort of stuff, will be underground. So what we're going to do, as we know, uh, pressure plates can actually power the block below it. I... Um, actually, I'll use a wooden pressure plate so I can chuck something on it and show you how that works. So if we... we'll get rid of the stone one and put a pressure plate there. And I'll put some redstone below it like that. And it will power the block below it. So if you chuck that on, you can see if that powers it. So knowing that little factoid um, is very useful. So what we can do here is actually just go below and put some redstone down here. And that will be powered when we step on it, of course. So if we go here, you can see it powers on quite, quite simply. And we're going to go do the same on the other side. It's going to set that up right now. Put some redstone right below it there. Now, the, the, the next thing we need to do is actually wire up a inverter, of course, for both of these. So these, all this signal here needs to be joined together. So we want to join this. It doesn't really matter how you join it. You could just put one through the middle there like that or something, I suppose. It doesn't matter. Um, and we, we're going to make our redstone come down this way. We'll make it come down like this on either side. So we're going to set up the same situation over here. So we need to power the top block, we've got to remember. And we want the redstone to come down over here, like this. Just down below. That'll be fine. We'll just dig some of this out now, just so we can uh, get a better view of what's going on underneath. Just so we can see it. And it's a bit easier for you guys to understand. Because there's no point creating a tutorial that you have no idea what's going on in. Because those are the most useless things on the internet. So. Before we connect up this redstone wire here going to those pistons and this redstone wire here going to those pistons, we need to create an inverter coming from our pressure plates. So, all we need to do here is create a redstone signal coming out here and we can put a block right here. Now I'm going to do it the way I said I was going to do it before, uh, and that is going to be using two torches coming up either side of this block. We're going to go like this and we're going to go like that. And that is pretty much all we have to do to hide away all the redstone underground. So we can cover all this up now. It doesn't take much room. Of course, you can do this in a much smaller space. But I, I like to make it nice and big so you guys can see it easy. Because as soon as you're trying to make things more compact, they obviously become a lot more complicated and harder to understand. So now if we go back over this way, we'll also just cover this up here. From from this side, it looks quite nice. Apart from, obviously, the visible pistons right there. This side looks quite nice. just looks like just, just a wall with pressure plates in front of it. So we stand on it, it opens up. Unless you threw. So of course you'd, you'd want to build a wall over this side as well. Um, but everything else, all the all the uh, redstone going to the pressure plates and stuff is underground. Which is a nice little feature that you can now do by hiding it under the ground, quite simply. And there you go, you have some nice piston doors. The same circuit as this one over here, but it's all underground, hidden away. And it's just a much neater scenario, pretty much. So I guess that's it for this time, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.